Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought. Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But right now, I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? A tree fell down in the driveway behind my car, and now I'm blocked in. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? She couldn't stand the thought of spending another night in that house. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is going to be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been uh, 10, 15 years ago. Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. I got the bejeebies scared out of me twice last night. Just before I saw the dogs, I caught a man named Red Knot prowling around outside the house. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. One thing's for sure, he's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if and he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. What else can I do you for? Where do you find your... Uh, uh, Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. You seem to be selling everything under the sun in here. Best part is, I got most of this stuff for free. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the Fed suddenly showing up, while well, everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Are you saying you acquired this stuff illegally? Well, of course not. It all washed up on shore. Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres, why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around, makes them feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why, instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. He'd be in heaven. Well, hey, I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could do some kind of trade-out? You scratch my back, 
I scratch yours, huh? Seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only hope, but you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. Can I help you? Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see, Sally McDonald is the woman who bought the old Malone place. That's right, only she's gone back to Philadelphia. Malone's dogs got to her. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. Does that mean you don't? There's always a logical explanation for everything. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy, dogs. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. Have you ever investigated the ghost dogs yourself? Do you... Always ask this many questions? As a matter of fact, I do. I'm a very busy man, Miss Drew, but... I am here to serve the public. Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Does everyone out here have a well? <laughs> everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Hooking up to a municipal water supply is out of the question. Too expensive. This place isn't exactly your ordinary ranger station, is it? It's also the Moon Lake Post Office, and it's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I've lived here all my life, so I can't help but feel obligated to protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past. Which is apparently rather colorful. As a member of the law enforcement community, I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. So you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten? Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm, I'm a reasonable man. As an officer of the law, can you think of anyone who might want to scare Sally off her property? The woman who owns the shop across the lake? Emily Griffin? I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure she's been dragging the lake in front of Malone's house for artifacts, which is illegal. It would be a lot easier for her to do her dirty work if nobody was living there. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Oh, and one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres.
You find all the birds? I'm sorry to keep bugging you, but I need some sandpaper. Emily said you might have some? Here, take it and scram. I was just about to call in a meadowlark. That was always Ruth's favorite. Was Ruth your wife? Good heavens, no. My wife had no patience for birding. Ruth was my dog. Border Collie. She'd hear a meadowlark, and by golly, her ears would perk, and she'd cock her head, and she'd just come as close to smiling as ever a dog could. Do many people around here own dogs? Not really. Most people don't bother. The place is surrounded by park land, and Ranger Acres just loves enforcing the leash laws. There it is again. Take your sandpaper and go... sand something, okay? Those floorboards need to be replaced.